<clears throat> What's up, people of the world? It's me again, Oxywormer, aka AP3 Jumped, and welcome to another Wild House episode review. Today, I'm reviewing the episode, um, Friends in Dry Places. Now, this episode is very interesting for a lot of reasons. For one, it takes place in a different setting, and two, the episode is about, uh, Lincoln worrying that his friends will drift apart. And, um, why does he worry about that? Well, let's start from the beginning, as Dr. As, as Dr. Wolf used to say. So, um, Lynn talks to uh, Lincoln talks to Lynn about this upcoming field trip that it's like the final field trip of his for elementary school. They're going to like this um <clears throat> for their final elementary school field trip. They're going to like some kind of dusty dunes national park, which I find to be a very I find to be really interesting. Um, they're go basically going. Uh, uh, they're basically going to like this, the sandy dunes for a field trip. I think that's a very interesting place to go to, especially for a field trip. But anyway, uh, Lynn talks to Lincoln about how um, uh, after after middle school, her friend her her friends drifted apart, and that she doesn't remember the names of people she's not friends with anymore. And then that makes Lincoln legitimately worried that his circle of friends is going to drift apart by middle school. So during the field trip. Lincoln goes to extensive measures trying to keep his friends together and have them all, them, all, them all spend time together. But he goes a little too far, as he usually does. So, um, long story short, uh, they wind up getting lost into the dunes, but Lincoln actually set it up and he has a map to actually go back. But then he loses the map and then they actually become lost for real. And then Lincoln, um, uh, tells, tells his friends that they've basically been set up in that sense and still they get mad at him and and leave him and then Lincoln falls in the, in like quicksand in like a 10 foot deep sinkhole and uh this friends uh they try to get him out by linking together as at and by linking their hands to, together like a chain like a human rope and then they that's how they pull uh, drag him and pull him out i don't know if that's possible in real life but uh it was really cool to see nonetheless so then Lincoln opens up to his friends about what, um, that he's worried that he's, his, he, he told him how he felt and why he did the things that he did. And then his friends reassured him that th they're never going to drift apart. We're always going to be friends. Like, um, so particular, uh, particularly when they get to middle school, but yeah. Lincoln himself said they're like siblings to him. And that was really sweet to hear, honestly. And then, <clears throat> so this episode has a really good message. Um... I really like the theme of it. I. Uh, it's pretty relatable, honestly. You know, I feel like anybody can relate to this. That how um. Uh, how you drift apart, from your friends over time, and uh, I I think what this episode is is conveying with its message. It, it's very relatable for I think pretty much anybody, especially me since um, I've drifted apart with a lot of my friends too. So yeah, that hits home. And, yeah, I appreciate that kind of message for the show in this episode. And I also love the setting, like I said. So, um, I highly recommend this episode. It's really fun to watch, both for the setting, the unique setting, and the unique message. And I also love the Coppertone reference for the title card, too. That's really cool. <laughs> so, um, anyway, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, uh, ring the bell if, to be notified of future videos I make, and like the video if you liked it. Let me know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. And stay tuned for tomorrow's review for the final Season 4 episode, um, Coop Dreams. Look forward to that tomorrow. So, anyways, once again, I'm Alex Wimmer, a.k.a. ap 3 Jim. Thank you so much for watching until the end. That is it for me, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Now I'm going to get a, something to drink.